welcome to our marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so this video is about again boiler how to uh, put uh, refractories in boiler that is what we are going to see in this video let's go inside the video now uh, we are in the process to renew uh, entire refractory materials inside the boiler uh, furnace area so before applying new refractory materials we have to clean the clean and remove the old refractories and uh, remove all oil stains clearly and clean the area completely now you can see we are removing all the oil stained refractories so the reason why we are uh, doing this uh, renewal is uh, we had a leakage in the shell and so we do this you can see the refractory areas is completely clean no oil strain no impurities everything is fine uh, okay what are things inside the refractory all this uh, uh, iron pieces it, this is called anchor bolts and uh, there will be a pipe which is uh, inside the furnace area which is called uh, a drain pipe this pipe is a drain pipe so we will put the refractories 15 cm below the drain pipe so we use the picast cac 50 refractory material and this material is recommended to use by most of the makers so first we have to do the preparation the refractory material should be kept on a clean surface we kept over the cardboard plywood so just apply water and you have to mix it in proper ratio it should not be very very solid or it should not be very liquid so very concentrated amount of water to be added when you are preparing the refractories so you have the refractory in place and with the help of water you have to mix it properly you use proper material both the shovel and uh, surface maker so mason is doing that and uh, it is not a very very complicated job but uh, idea is it should not be mixed with any other foreign material like carbon and all should not get mixed and other thing no sand should be added while you are uh, doing this mixture only pure refractory material should be used for this so now we are in the process of preparing the refractories so once we are done we this is how the refractory will look when it is ready for applying in place so once we are done we have to uh, get inside the boiler furnace area so now we had started applying it so main thing is you should not give a polished uh, top surface it should be always a grained surface uh, okay so we will keep on applying the refractory material and we cover the entire anchor bolt area and we will fill the refractories 15 cm below the pipe that is what we do so now the process is done this is how you have to spread the refractories so that the refractories will get hold of the surface always make sure there should not be any impurities or foreign materials which could damage or which could get contaminated with the refractory area so almost our uh, half the refractory part is done now we will be continuing doing this till we reach the anchor bolt level so again uh, we are doing the same so we have to cover the entire surface along with the shell plating also so this is how you have to fit 
uh, fill the refractories you can see all those pores that is for the air holes so this is how you have to apply refractories for a boiler i hope this video must have given you some information about how to apply refractories inside the boiler furnace area thanks for watching